welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time here thank you so much for clicking on this video i'm excited about you on this channel i talk about school life faith lifestyle and relationship matters and if you love what you see on my channel then definitely click on the subscribe button below my name is isioma ojime and i am a christian i am a lover of encouragement I have a purpose to encourage your lives, you know, and just basically inspire lives with the words of my mouth. And I'm excited to have you on my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you for being loyal to this girl. Thank you for being a real MVP. I love and appreciate you so much. If you're a returning viewer who has not yet subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Join this community by clicking on the subscribe button. And it's important that you turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video because there are many people who are subscribed to my channel but never get to see my videos so if you don't want to be one of those people who don't get to see my videos or don't get notifications for my videos then definitely click on the notification bell below as you can tell from the title of this video I'll be talking about what I did differently to move from a 4.26 GP to a 4.81 GP GP means grade points and notes that I did not say CGPA so CGPA is the cumulative grade points average while GPA is grade point average so they are two dif different things so GP is just in a particular semester but CGPA is like two semesters or more combined together you know and then added up to get your final standing that's your real standing academically that's what we call it here in Nigeria just in case you're watching from outside the country even though I don't know if I have audience from outside the country please tell me if you're not in Nigeria, you're watching this video. Let me even know in the comment section. So, if I'm, if I'm already going international, who knows? We'll be going international anyway. So, yeah, shout out to RMO Mike for inspiring today's video because I saw a video on his channel where he talked about spilling the beans on his results so far, and I was like, wow, this is a very good video idea. Before then, I thought of doing something like that, but I was like, what is the end goal? Because I always think of my audience before I make any video. I'm like, okay, if I get to show them my results, what are they going to benefit? fit from that kind of video so i was struggling with getting the purpose of what that video was going to be but after watching this video i was like okay then i think i have somewhere i can come from if i do a similar video like this so thank you so much mike his youtube channel is aremu mike please do well to support him the link to his channel will be in the description below so you can subscribe to his channel as well i'm currently going to my final year by the grace of god my 400 level so i'll be showing you my results in the last three years now i'm not making this video to intimidate you or make you feel less of yourself or make you feel like you're not doing enough no i am making this video to be a source of inspiration to you so i ask that you kindly open up your heart so that you can get the best out of this video right you don't feel pressured in any way it's not to put pressure on you so please when you see my results and everything don't start comparing it to your own don't start feeling um, less of yourself if your own is not academics your own might be marriage your own might be business but it doesn't mean you cannot have it all even though this video is academic centered it, it applies to every other area of your life if you apply these principles they will work for you don't feel intimidated rather be inspired to do more for yourself Having said that, without wasting any more time, let's jump right into this video. So now, let me give you guys a background story to my 300 level first semester when I had a 4.26 grade point. And so far, that was my lowest GP I'd ever had. And I know that that's a very strong 2-1. That's a very strong second class upper. I know there are people out there who are praying for a 4 point, like to enter a 4 point. And then me, I'm having that's a GP and I'm still complaining. I'm not exactly complaining, neither am I ungrateful, but I I just know that I could have done better if certain things did not happen so that's just where I'm coming from I think it's because maybe I was new to the system of being a leader or being in a leadership position that literally puts you at the center everybody began to look up to me in some way I think there was this sense of pressure you know activities here and there everything just became so overwhelming I'm not trying to blame anything on the position I occupied I take 100% responsibility for everything that happened that semester but I think I lost focus at the same time in fact when i saw the result i wasn't surprised rather i was even thankful because i expected it to be worse in spite of the fact that that was my lowest gp i was grateful i did not have a d in any course i didn't have an f in any course my lowest grade was still a c it's just that i had more c's than i had ever had so far 
I made up my mind that I was going to do better the following semester and by the grace of God I had a 4.81 the following semester so now note that I'm not on a 4.26 now neither am I on a 4.81 those were my separate GPs for my first semester and my second semester respectively right so right now at the time i'm making this video i am only 4.63 so the first thing i did differently to move from a 4.26 grade point to a 4.81 grade point was that i identified the reasons i dropped i sat myself down and i said this how did you get here and that's what i said in my video on five things i wish i knew before i got into the university that anyone who's not emotionally stable cannot be academically sound i'm not just saying that from experience but i'm telling you that because it is a pattern that i've seen play out in many people's lives and then i also realized that i focused more on the things that did not really matter i neglected the things that mattered most so i began to pinpoint these things one after the other and then i started working on them so for the part of my emotions i made sure that i cut communication with anyone who was making me feel less of myself or making me struggle emotionally a few people have reached out to me oh isioma would you love to be a part of this can i add you to this group chat and um, we need your help in this area and if i just realize that it is not something that aligns with where god is taking me to in this season i decline then i also identified the fact that i read the wrong materials for my exams there was a particular three unit course that i had a c in a credit in and i realized i actually did not read the notes very well i went ahead to be reading other materials rather than just focus on the notes so that was why i dropped so much the following semester i ensured that i got the right materials for my lecturers i asked my classmates questions about our assignments about our notes i kept asking for notes like i really sat up in that area no more reading the wrong materials i did my best to get as many correct materials as possible i kept confirming and god helped me and my result came out better then another thing i identified was the fact that i had stopped studying usually my hundred level i used to study i didn't just read i would go on youtube i would read articles relating to that course so i was even trying to expand my knowledge on each course i wasn't just trying to pass that course but i saw myself just reading to pass in that particular semester and so what i did to attain a better result in my second semester where i eventually got a 4.81 was to actually study i studied i read the right materials but that did not stop me from also exploring different information as regards my courses then the second thing i actually did to move from a 4.26 to a 4.81 gp was that i drew motivation from my previous results even the bible says it that you should remember constantly remember the goodness and the wonder of god paraphrasing now that means when you are going down when you are becoming discouraged and overwhelmed try to remind yourself of the goodness of god of the good things that the lord has actually done for you it will not be good for you to forget all that god has done for you just because you are going through a tough phase in your life so what i did was i went to my portal again and then i went through my results from 100 level and i said to myself if god did it for me in my 100 level first semester he did it for me in second semester he did it for me in 200 level where i had my highest great points i had a 4.83 he was one that did it for me he did it for me second semester then he would do it again for me in this 300 level so i encouraged myself in the lord as the bible says that david encouraged himself in the lord and i said god that has been doing it for me has not slept he has not slumbered so that means the the error is on my path as a human god is constant so it, it meant that it was me that was not consistent and the effort i had been putting in one key thing i never stopped doing was going to classes so i never stopped going to classes but my attitude towards class Classes changed and it is that I was getting distracted with my phone to the point that my lecturer even called my attention to me I failed to manage my time well two major things that really made me drop in my first semester 300 level was the fact that I had lost enthusiasm and passion for my course I told you guys that when I came into my hundred level and I was supposed to get mass come and they gave me CMA I I told myself that I was going to graduate with the first class so there was this enthusiasm there was this passion in me you know that I used to start off and I saw staying to my 200 level i realized that my 300 level i was just down the passion had gone and then secondly i reduced praying concerning my academics what different thing did i do in my second semester i started praying again i started calling and waiting on god concerning my academics and then secondly i prayed for revival that god should revive everything that has been taken away from my life by the enemy that god should revive my passion for this cause god should revive my enthusiasm and he did it and i don't know where the 
strength came from i don't even know where the wisdom and the understanding and retentive memory came from he just gave me so many strategies i was able to get back on my feet again i read i studied i did my part and god crowned my effort with success and when i saw my results even though funny enough i did not hit my target because my target was a 5.0 but at least i was close i literally ran round my room when i saw my result for the first time and i was just so excited i jumped i was like god you could do this for me when all hope was lost see nobody will understand this so people just feel like ah oh, is this your man i thank god for a god that never fails that even when men are seeing you in a certain way god sees what you're truly going through and he comes through for us so i just thank god i set clear targets and goals for myself because whatever is measured can be improved i told you guys from my previous point that my target was a 5.0 at least a 4.9 and i did not reach my target but i thank god i got something close to my target because i set a target so assuming i did not have a target i would probably not have even gotten anything close to that and i think in my first semester i did not exactly have a target or let me say i had a target but i made that target at a very very late time in the semester i made that target when it was already close to exam or during the exam i was like okay let me start reading because i want to have to have a 5.0 no that's not how it works it's at the beginning of the semester that you set the target for yourself and you see to it that you live every day moving yourself closer to achieving the goals that you have set for yourself academically in that particular semester so i didn't just set a target i didn't just set goals i set the target and my goals early on in the semester in second semester and that was why even though i did not hit my target which was a 5.0 or at least a 4.9 i got something close to my target grade point the fourth thing i did differently was that i asked questions from my classmates. usually i used to be this keep to myself person i think i've said that in my video there was this aura of pride that was setting in that god had to call my attention to and i believe that he used that result to call my attention to it so i felt i didn't really need anybody's help no i used to ask questions but you know it's kind of like you just ask questions but deep down you know i feel i feel i know it or god forbid i'm saying god forbid because i can't believe that i once had that kind of mindset so i think this 4.26 gp as bad as it was god used it to correct a lot of things a lot of mindset that i had and so i began to ask my classmates questions i saw myself going to their rooms more frequently not just because of what i could get from them but because i truly wanted to bond with them i truly wanted to be friends with them don't go into university and think you can do it alone even if you start out as the best in your department you would always need people it might not be academic support it might be emotional support it might be mental support it might be spiritual support don't neglect people don't look down on people just because you are on a good standing that was something god taught me and i'm grateful for that lesson the fifth thing i did differently was that i made a decision to study from a place of peace and not a place of pressure so in first semester when i had a 4.26 i realized that i was pressured the pressure to keep raising the bar that i had raised from my 100 level actually made me drop the bar so i realized that see it's your man the best thing is just to do your thing like my lecturer told me said this man just do your thing don't be pressured so if you are at a face in your life where you are doing things from a place of pressure change your strategy start doing things from a place of peace from a place of calmness be still and know that i'm the lord so if you are if you don't get still you can't know that he's god you can't see the capacities of god and the abilities of god to help you if you are not still so sometimes you just need to calm down and take it one step at a time so that was what i did and everything changed for me drastically as regards my cgpa i prayed more so with these few points of mine i hope i have been able to convince and not confuse you that it is possible for you to have better and greater results in life if only you do things differently and you try to use different strategies like somebody said it is insanity to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result just in case you're not convinced about the entire purpose of this video let me now go ahead to show you my nigerian university results in three years let's go guys all right guys so i'm logged in now into my portal and i'm heading straight to my results to show you guys my nigeria university results in three years yay here we have it guys it's your mouse um yes this is my first semester 100 level result i had a 4.82 which was an amazing result i think i had just two b's and then we have my second semester 100 level i dropped to a 4.58 then i was only 4.7 thereabouts for my 
So guys, this was my 200 level first semester where I had my highest GP 4.83 and then I entered my 300 level first semester and I had my lowest GP. So my result just kept flung sweating. As I told you guys in the video, something went wrong this semester and that's why it was so low. Um, I had more C's than I had ever had and one of the C's was a three unit course. That's why it affected my results so much. But God being a faithful father, in my second semester 300 level, my CGPA increased and I had a 4.81. I just want you guys to know that anything is possible to those that believe as the Bible says. And I believe in you. You can do better. Do not give up on yourself. God that has moved me from a 4.26 to a 4.81 can move you from that situation of your life. Don't give up. Keep trusting God and he will make everything perfect in his own time. I love you. I believe that you found this video helpful and like I said at the beginning of this video, the purpose is not to intimidate you but to inspire you. And trust me, as good as you think that that result you just saw is, I can tell you for sure that I still know that there's more that I can do. I will not settle for that result because when I settle, God settles. So when you settle for that situation, God also settles. So I will tell you, be grateful for where you are now but strive to do more because there's more that you can do. Every day of your life is an opportunity for you to do better and so i thank god for where i am now but i know that he can help me do more and i'm going to take advantage of my final year by the grace of god and i'll make sure that i give it my best shot please give room for god to help you sometimes it's not about your efforts it's not of him that we let not of him that run it but of god that showeth mercy maybe the only thing you need is to just let god help you and so we've come to the end of this video if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with a friend or two so that youtube can get to recommend this video to more people you you don't know whose life you would change or you would help by sharing this video or liking this video for more people to get to see it and do leave a comment below if you learned a thing or two tell me what stage of your life you're in if you're struggling academically and you want to share your journey just let me know in the comment section or you can send a private message on ig at isoma underscore or say let me know what you're taking away from this video and i love you so much i'll see you in my next video bye